Bill C11 threatens to take away our voice online. But what about our voice offline, in real life? What about speech that neither you or me like? Free speech is the bedrock of our free society, even when that speech is something we'd never say and we don't like to hear. I, I want to be clear about this. Everyone should condemn and denounce this horrific language. There's absolutely no place uh, for the kind of misogynistic and hateful uh, expression that we saw reported in Mr. Poilev's tweet, uh, with the alarming increase of incidents that involve um, very uh, aggressive, offensive, and in some cases blatantly criminal language, which you know disproportionately targets um, women and racialized uh, Canadians and Indigenous peoples. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev has gone to the police over online uh, threats made against his wife. And I'm wondering if you have any comment on this latest example of politically connected attacks. No one uh, should ever be subject to uh, threats of violence or um, the kind of uh, hatred um, that we've seen increasingly. Uh, in the uh, uh, in public discourse and in the public sphere. Uh, it's important that we all stand up and condemn that and we all uh, look for ways to uh, ensure that everyone feels safe in this country. Politicians and journalists have made it clear as of late that they're not fans of the criticism that's hit a fever pitch over the last two years. We've heard the terms racist, misogynist, and all kinds of hate labels used to stifle dissent online and in the flesh. Well, how far will they go to finally silence you? Speech we all can agree we don't like is the perfect issue to finally make it illegal to criticize our betters, and sometimes can also be politically expedient in other ways. Let's do a thought experiment and think about how this statement could serve Pierre Poiliev politically. Number one, Jeremy McKenzie has been a vocal Maxime Bernier PPC supporter. Putting this out there makes it easier to broad brush all PPC supporters, just like the mainstream media has been doing for years, and draw undecided supporters to his CPC party instead. Two, the leftist legacy mainstream media has been trying to damage Mr. Poiliev by linking him to McKenzie by using a single picture to insinuate that they have a political relationship. The statement here by Mr. Poiliev immediately distances him from Mr. McKenzie. I don't believe that Mr. McKenzie's late-night raunchy sexual fantasy shock jock comedy is an actual threat to Mr. Poiliev or his family. But politicians deciding what speech is criminal and what's not could be. What do you think? Hail brethren, hail freedom, and hail patriots.